up to a CBS 47 exclusive. They believe he's responsible for a little girl's death. The family of an Exeter girl responded tonight to an interview you saw right here on CBS 47. Last night, we talked to Chris Cheery. Police say he's a person of interest in the death of three-year-old Sophia Acosta. An autopsy shows Sophia died from blunt force trauma to the head. CBS 47's Catherine Hurt has the story. He can sit and lie on that TV all he wants to, but he's looking around his back, making sure no, nobody's after him. He's a liar from the pits of hell. Ruth Williams says she watched our interview with Chris Cheery. He's the boyfriend of Erica Smith, Sophia Acosta's mother. Cheery told us he had nothing to do with the little girl's death. I would never touch that little girl. I love her more than I love myself. Cherry told us he and Sophia's mother were doing drugs the afternoon Sophia was found injured in her bedroom. We were just downstairs smoking an orange. Ruth Williams says she talked to Cherry and her granddaughter about doing drugs when Sophia and her little sister were around. I knew that they were smoking pot when the kids were in the house, and I told them, that is against the law, you cannot do it. But she insists her granddaughter was a good mother. Ruth says she asked Erica to stop seeing Cherry. If she had done what I told her to do, asked her to do, begged her to do, this would never yes, happen. One, two, three. And that's the blame I put on Erica. Cherry told us he fears for his safety. William says he should. You bet you he does. You bet you he does. Every gang member in Tulare County is looking for him. Why are gang members looking for him? William says Sophia's biological father was a gang member in Tulare County. At this point, Cherry says he's told police where he's staying, but few others know. Police are still investigating who was responsible for Sophia's death. Funeral services for Sophia have been set for this coming Tuesday. They will be held in Atwater and Winton, which is close to where her biological father lives. For more information on the funeral service services, go to our website at cbs47.tv. Live in Exeter, Catherine Hurst, CBS 47.